Blessed Shabbat, my starseed family. Honey Gaia here, your galactic leader. Bold and fearless, baby, because doing the light work takes a very strong individual. I'm enjoying my Saturday. It's the day of the week that I look forward to so I can relax, you know, get some self-love pampering time in. I'm currently multitasking here and deciding what color to do my nails at the moment. I kind of messed up my own manicure this week practicing my instrument oh it's gonna take some time to build those calluses back up anyway um took a break real quick to bring in a very important intuitive reading now there is a much more vulgar version of this message that i just recorded and i'm realizing i don't want to be in that energy on youtube so i took a minute to attempt myself very very harshly to count to 10 even though that doesn't really work for me so um just be fair warned this is not safe for work or children okay um i recently got some downloads in regards to the light worker community being under spiritual attack more specifically not just me but other people that are in the same line of work that I am in. I mean, there's always going to be haters. There's always going to be people jealous. Um, may even use their intuitive gifts to assume and use said personal uh, emotions out of appetite and passion to guide an intuitive message. And it has been put upon my heart by the most high, my ancestors and spirit guides to let it be known that that is the number one way to um, expose to the world that you're fake or there's some kind of like reaching that's happening there. <clears throat> I also want to build off of another intuitive message I got that if the message is consistent, um, when I first started watching uh, tarot on YouTube, I usually didn't follow someone unless the message was uh, consistent. Um, even if it wasn't a message for me, I do cross watch for family members just to make sure they're okay because I do have a large family and they live all over the world. Um, so this message of, you know, readers copying off of each other and all that, to be honest with you, I could care less about that. Now, if we're talking about trademarks and copyrighted work, that's completely different. OK, because I have my fair have dealt with my fair share of infringement issues on several different accords throughout my career. Um, that's going to be my only concern as far as people building off of any messages I put out there. Good. That means you're doing the light work and I encourage you to continue watching because I am a real intuitive person. I've been intuitive ever since I was a child. And I just chose in my 30s um, upon my activation to share my gifts with the world because it was put upon my heart by the Most High, my ancestors, and my spirit guides to assist others. I like to consider myself a spiritual police officer and I'm here to protect and serve the light. So give me one second. Boys, you okay? Yeah. All right, give me one moment. So that is why I'm here to bring this message this Saturday and why it's so important for you to pay it forward and do right. This is why I'm celibate. This is why I don't throw my snatch around like a cheap, piece of manager special meat um i embody my vessel and respect my vessel that the most high has given me i am 100 percent natural not saying i would never get any work done but um i do love myself and people will try to bring your vibration down by talking about how much you weigh or how you look or how you live your life simply because they're miserable in their own lives <clears throat> people will try to tear down what you do and uh, deflect people from praising you and, and congratulating you on doing a good job. You know, the difference between 
me and another person is I get up and I go for it and I don't let people's opinions stop me. Um, anybody is capable of doing these things. It's all just a matter of how much effort and heart and dedication you have for something. Now, I could honestly say that, no, I'm not a perfect person. Um, this definitely is something that I've accrued over time and learned how to do simply because I'm not the type of person that wants to repeat mistakes. I like learning from mistakes and I can even do one better by learning and observing what someone else is going through. So I don't even have to go down that road. I most definitely will do that also. Okay. So this is going to be what is their karma reading for people that want to judge and assume and use their gifts for low vibrational things. This person may have their own anxieties about the situation with afraid to reveal true feelings. They may low-key be hating or insecure about the love and admiration you get from other people, not knowing truly what your purpose is or who has called you or appointed you to be here. Okay? And I'm speaking to all light workers. There are some people out here. We have earth angels walking among us and People are like going to be putting their full foot, maybe even other body parts in their mouth when they realize who they're really talking shit about. I'm also getting intuitively that um, these people can't stand your light with a shooting star. You're literally in orbit around the world in the galaxy and people just can't stand that. They can't, and they're beginning to wake up and realize just how big the influence is. Does that make it right? No, but there's a lot of people in powerful seats trying to cheapen and market your personality as if it's just a trend or a facade. And people aren't realizing that this is not something you can clone. This Because we're not this body, we are not... Uh, this personality, we are a, a living spirit having a human experience. And people, you know, try to cheap, try to treat it like a, a, a knockoff handbag. To those uh, who are trying to deliver or judge this karma by the same, by the same hand they judge others, they too shall be judged. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They may also be bringing upon themselves a health concern with the lengths that they're going to manipulate messages. I'm also getting with uh, when more is appointed, more is required. If you have a large following, if you have a lot of people that look up to you to um, get some kind of advice or guidance from, <clears throat> thank you, Holy Spirit, my throat chakra started getting a little itchy. Um, it is very, very important. I'm getting this message specifically for people that are in a position to lead others, that you lean not onto your own understanding for uh, it's the unfolding of the word that gives life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So if you are manipulating a message by trying to decipher it by your own understanding and it ends up. I mean, what I like to personally do is read, listen back to my messages before I upload them, which is very important. Perhaps this may be a tip other readers need to take um, if you are in the metaphysical community. Um, I'm getting, even if you're not, if you are someone um, in a social standpoint that has a large following, you need to be mindful of the things you say when it comes to other people because it may actually... Uh, not work in your favor in the near future. This person may be asking for forgiveness, okay? You need to keep in mind that some things only God can forgive, but for, remember forgiveness is for yourself so that you can cut yourself free. I recently heard from another reader this very specific comment that people expected you to pull the knives out your back and stab them. But instead, you chose to cut yourself free. So you may be doing some 
cord cutting ceremonies or people may be waking up to the fact that they're not accessing your energy as easily because of the protective work, prayers or meditations that you have been doing. Um, if you feel lighter, um, just know that this is confirmation from the divine that your armor is intact. You may be praying the uh, passage of Ephesians 6 over yourself, even if you aren't an avid Bible reader or don't believe the whole Bible. There are words that have power. People don't realize that praying is actually magic, okay? So if anyone's getting a reading on another reader or someone else and it's coming out as, oh, this person's doing magic, you need to be very careful <clears throat> with someone else's interpretation of things because this person could just be heavily in prayer and a powerful manifester, okay? Let's not judge others here. By the same sword that you raise up against others, you will be judged, which is why integrity is so, so important. Their karma is, they may now be getting sucked dry by karmic energies around them whether this is friends family business colleagues they may be getting vampired on now for the same actions that they have done to you in the past they may also be getting exposed for other things that they've done to other people very much in the same 